Hey everybody, we're back. It's Wednesday. We're in John chapter 1, beginning in verse 16. It says, Out of his fullness, we have all received grace in place of grace already given. The full measure of Christ empowers you and I to live on mission. In fact, the word grace in this passage that's used twice is the Greek word charis, C-H-A-R-I-S. It's where we get the word charismata from, which is the idea is charismatic or charismatic gifts. So it says that we have been graced, as it does in Ephesians chapter 4, we have been graced as Christ apportioned it with different spiritual gifts. And the full nature of Christ, again in Ephesians chapter 4, it says you only get the full measure of Christ when we use those gifts to fulfill the five-fold ministry of the local church. Now you're like, dude, it's Wednesday, two days before Christmas, that's pretty deep. Well, let me tell you why this is important. See, you and I as followers of Jesus, if you're a Christian and you're watching this right now, you are called to a two-fold mission to help people in need and to share your faith, proclaim the coming kingdom of God, that we live those two things out in our community. It, it means that we're called to live on mission during this Christmas season when culture is actually on our side. We talked about that last week and what it means to be a martyr for the faith, a witness for Christ, laying down your life, picking up your cross daily, baby. And what I want to tell you today through this short time that we have together is that what Jesus wants to do in your life is gift you to talk to your family and friends and bring the truth of Christ to them. In fact, if you look at the next verse, it says, verse 17, for the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. See, in the Old Testament, they followed the Pharisaical law. Uh, well, in fact, the law itself was the first five books of the Old Testament, the Torah, and the Ten Commandments was a key part of that. It taught them how to live and interact during a time period where there wasn't good hygiene and there wasn't good civil uh, obedience. And so he's teaching them how to live. But what he says is today, because of Jesus, that he was born into the world, he was crucified on the cross, rose on the third day, overcoming sin and death so anybody could draw near to God, that just like he was Emmanuel, God with us in the Old Testament, or excuse me, in the New Testament as we celebrated Christmas with his birth, he also is with us today as believers. He wants to dwell with us like we started the week with. And see, but then it teaches us that if he's dwelling with us like we looked at yet this week, then you are called to go live on mission, that, that twofold mission. And the way that he, he's given our, the Holy Spirit to us so that we might live out the grace and truth of Jesus. You say, well, dude, what's the difference? Well, grace is kind of the soft side of love, the, the forgiveness and reconciliation, the, the being willing to be restored in right relationships with other people. The truth is the, the harder side of love, of being willing to, to speak truth into people's lives and be honest about what the Bible teaches and what it doesn't teach. If you have all truth and no grace, you probably have a culture in your life and those around you of a call-out culture where you're constantly giving them truth but never any grace. If you have all grace and no truth, you probably have a hangout culture where you're not really transforming their lives. They just are hanging out with them and you, because you don't ever bring any hard truths to their life. The way of Jesus, the, the love of Christ, calls us to call people in to a greater relationship with Him. That means we need both grace and truth. Now here's what that means. This Christmas, you have an opportunity to invite a family member or friend tomorrow to one of our Christmas Eve services. It may be life-changing and they mean to, to be invited online for many of you. You have family members that are at risk, invite them online to mercyroad.tv or Facebook Live or YouTube Live. But if you're local, you could bring them in person to one of our four Christmas Eve services. And if we run out of RSVPs, we're going to add another service. You can actually go right now to mercyroad.cc forward slash Christmas and you can RSVP right now so that we can ensure a seat for you. In fact, we're going to space it out so that even if your friend last second tells you you can come, you could still bring them along with you even if they didn't have our RSVP yet because we're going to set it up so we have space socially distant for everyone. And I say all that to say, I don't know whether you need to show your friends some grace today or some truth today, but it's not just that we receive grace and truth, we have to offer grace and truth. I don't know whether you tend more towards offering people grace in your life or whether you tend more towards offering truth in, in your life, but the way of Jesus is to offer both. I want you to pray with me right now for your family and friends this Christmas season that they may experience both the grace and the truth of Christ and that God will use you to do that. And you're like, dude, I don't know how to talk about any of that kind of stuff. I've never done that in my whole life. 
That's the beautiful thing of this passage. What have we been studying? He wants to dwell with you. He's with you. Your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. And now he's given you the grace and truth to be able to speak to them and be obedient to what the Lord is calling you to do in your life. You can do it. I know you can. I know you can right now. Let's pray for those people in your life. And maybe God gives you specific people to pray for. I want you to write their names down. I want you to pray over them. I want you to call them, text them, email them, Facebook message them, Instagram them, Snapchat them, tweet them, whatever you got to do. Because the good news of Jesus that he's come to dwell with us is for everybody. It's for everybody. Why are you hogging it? You're keeping it all to yourself. Don't keep the fullness of Christ to yourself. Offer it to those in your life. Let's pray. God, we want people to experience your love, your grace, your truth this Christmas, Lord. I pray right now for the people in our lives that you have supernaturally called us to to present your grace and truth to. God, I, I think of some people in my own life right now that I need to invite online, that I I need to invite to an in-service, an in-person service. God, give me the words to say, to offer the grace or the truth that they need to hear in their life. Use me, Lord Jesus. Then pray this with me. God, uh, today I commit those people that you've brought to my mind to you fully, God. I'm no longer going to keep this in. I'm going to share your good news with them that you desire to dwell with them. Give me the words, God. Uh, It's not weird if I just am honest about what you've done in my life. So I just surrender that relationship to you. Use me, Lord Jesus. We love you, God. We pray for our family and friends that they may know you fully and we may live and walk in obedience to you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We'll see you tomorrow for Christmas Eve.